Tuesday. I think it's September 15th. I am not sure. I've lost count of days. I took the month of September off. I uh, really haven't had that. I looked back at last year, and I saw that there was a lot of really good days to fly in September. So I picked September to take off, and uh, really hasn't been that good. A lot of uh, hurricanes move up, moving up and down south and giving us a lot, of it, a lot of rain. So here's a question, and hopefully I can get an answer. Just trying to see what others do. Uh, I'm running 50 to 1 uh, mix the gas and uh, I was going by a certain mixture that mixture is closer to 40 to 1 and 50 to 1 the instructions and the little booklet I have says uh, 50 to 1 and this is what you do but it's closer to 40 to 1 and I'm just wondering how many uh, how much uh, oil do you folks mix 50 to 1 or I am right now 500 milliliters to five gallons of gas. And uh, the more I look at it, the more I read about it. And I look at my plug, and I was looking at a buddy's plug. Uh, boy, mine just runs really oily. So I was just wondering what, uh, I think I'm running way too high of a mix. Now my motor is going to last probably longer with this mix. Runs a little rough maybe. But uh, 735 feet in the air, 31 miles an hour. I'm going to drop down a little bit, 2.3 miles from the runway. We're going to head over towards uh, Burger King and Walmart. We're going to see if we can see some golden eagles or bald eagles or whatever these eagles are down here by the river. Get some lift. That was a bit of lift right there, a little thermal. Up here at 750, I'll drop down and cruise a little bit. Somebody asked me, have I ever had a collapse? And I have not had a collapse that I know of, but maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I'll jinx myself. I've had some wings fold up and wings do some strange things on takeoffs, but that's probably about it. 688. It's a little chilly out here. When they start cutting the uh, soybeans and the corn, it really gets nice out here because then you can just land anywhere, touch and go, just about anywhere. These soybeans are like Velcro. They'll grab you. Thirty-two miles an hour. We're just idling. 460 feet. Sure is beautiful out here. Got the river and the trees. Everything's really green. Old railroad track, old railroad bridge here.
about 350 feet. 32 miles an hour. Going back, I'll probably let the trims out. We'll see. I'm following David today. So I've got my trims all the way in to keep fairly slow. So I don't go flying by David, just kind of ride around with him. It's pretty calm out here. We're about 4.5 miles away from the runway. 500 feet in the air. I turned the GPS on the uh, GoPro 7, so I'll be able to do some of that. See if I can mix it in with a four. Just trying to keep uh, an area to land in case something happens. These driveways work pretty good. This next area is going to be a lot of corn. There are some paths between the corn that you can land. With it going into the wind, you can always turn backwards and uh, go back to some of these spots as well. about 675 feet, 5.5 miles from the runway. Got Walmart ahead. City of Kishakton. Burger King pumping out the, the smoke over there. Catch a whiff of that, I'll start getting hungry. <laughs> 